Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are here in Chicago at Palette Sound, live with Dayglow right now. Sloan, everybody, thank you guys for being here, man. We really appreciate it. Yes, we're yeah. glad. We're glad to be here. Yeah, on uh, on day after show, thank you for uh, for waking up early and and doing this thing. It's uh, very much appreciated, man. Thank you for spending your time with us here today, and uh, we're about to share a lot of your music, some brand new things off the most recent project. We're going to share some from the debut record as well. Uh, what's mm -hmm. happening first today? Uh, we're going to play a song called Medicine. All right. Let's rock. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. This is a lot of fun, man. I like these songs a lot. I'm a fan of what you guys do, so thanks for sharing it with us today. Thanks. Um, I know that uh, your songwriting strategy, the approach changed significantly between Fuzzy Brains, a more, more guitar-centric approach, and mm -hmm. uh, um, Harmony House is a more piano-centric yeah. approach. Was that, is that a conscious decision for you? Did you say, let me just see what happens with the different approach, or did you sort of organically f just fall into piano and that just happened to make sense? Um, yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Like. 
I guess it's just what I knew at the time because I write and produce and mix all my own stuff. And so at the time of Fuzzy Brain, I was listening to more guitar driven music. And then, you know, during Harmony House, I discovered, you know, Bruce Hornsby. And I was just, you know, loving the way he played piano and wanted to emulate that. Um, and, uh, yeah, just started playing piano music and writing and emulating like yacht rock stuff. You know, I love Michael McDonald too. Yeah. Um, we have different voices, but he's he is an inspiration of mine. Um, and yeah, it's just been fun challenging myself and you know making music in a different approach. Yeah, well, does that different approach? Do you find that your melodies are significantly different, or do you do you hear the melody in your head and then translate it to the instrument, or do just the natural way that the instrument is does that influence the melodies and and the way the the whole song turns out? Yeah, uh, well, I kind of just get in these pockets of like I can't escape certain chord shapes and stuff. It's so like for Harmony House, everything is pretty much in F sharp, just like all the black keys mostly, and then um, I transposed it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I transposed it all. So like almost everything's in the same chord shapes. And so with Fuzzy Brain, I was kind of doing the same thing. Um, and I don't know, it's just easier to write that way. Um, but definitely so. So like now while I'm writing music, I'm like, oh my gosh, this all just still sounds like the same thing. So I'm trying to like learn new ways, like starting a song with a bass line and, you know, yeah, bass. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I feel I feel in the group now, man. This is uh, this is a lot of fun. So we just heard one of the new ones from Harmony House. We're about to dive back to the debut right now and hear one from 2019, 2018. Um, what is what's coming up second today? This is Hot Rod. <laughs> Oh, 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 
<laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Um, can we talk a little bit about the uh, the decision to to leave school, to leave college, and do this full time? I mean, it's a, a valid decision, but I can't imagine. I mean, you didn't arrive at that lightly. Like that's a that's a big decision. Can we talk a little bit about what you were weighing when you decided to just go all in with uh, with music? Sure. Uh, it was a crazy time. Uh, my freshman year of college at UT Austin, um, I was yeah, just like starting to receive emails um, as one does and. There's some noise. Hey, Colin. Uh, and then uh, we, uh, yeah, anyways, I was getting all these emails and stuff on my school email, of all things. It was like sloanstruble.utexasedu, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know how people were finding it. And um, I was, like, doing, like, French online homework and then at the same time, like, responding to these, like, people and stuff. And um, I don't know. I was just, like, overwhelmed at the time. And then my parents came down to Austin. They are like, you know, Sloan, like, you probably shouldn't be in school if all this is happening. I was like, then there really? we go. And I did then, not expect the story was going to take that turn. I know, turn. I yeah. Like, <laughs> the, me, yeah. me neither. Um, and it just worked out. So um, I ended up, after talking to many people from, you know, L.A. and New York and such, I met Ryan, who's back there. I don't know Ryan. if he can poke his head in or something. No, we're okay. Yeah. Just you can imagine what he looks like. His name's Ryan. Um, he's my manager. Yeah. And uh, we've uh, we've had fun, and it's been awesome just like getting to do everything so yeah, yeah i'm completely on board with that decision i mean it's you know unless you're in the stem uh studies or whatever but if you're an engineer obviously stay in college but there's many things with i mean you're learning a lot faster by doing this i mean i graduated from college but nobody gives a shit i have never had to prove <laughs> that to anybody to get a job i mean nobody sure, knows it doesn't yeah. matter i was i was studying advertising too so kind of in the similar vein i don't know i don't know what i would have done but i'm doing this now so yes Good, man. Well, I'm glad that you're doing this here in this room with us. And uh, we've got another one coming up from Fuzzy Brain next, right? Yes. Uh, this is Can I Call You Tonight? But first, I want to introduce my band, if that's okay. Please. Um, I've got Peyton Harrington playing the bass. Peyton. Behind me, we've got Brady Knippa playing the drums. All right, Brady. Nori Swafford's playing keys. Hey, Nori. And that's Colin Crawford playing guitar. Right, Colin. <laughs> I like the studio clap. This is fun. Feels like golf. Um, awesome. Uh, this is Can I Call You Tonight? <laughs>
I meant to tell you beforehand, we are going to delay for like two seconds after every time before we clap okay. for you. So it's going to happen again after the fourth. Cool. Um, we, uh, so we know a little bit about the, your technical approach from the songwriting, the differences between Fuzzy Brain and Harmony House. Can you talk a little bit about the, the concept and the inspiration for Harmony House with that? I thought that the sitcom idea was, uh, was amazing. Is that, I mean, did you sit down and say, this is what I'm going to do? Or is that another thing that you sort of just stumbled into and found yourself on that path? Yeah, I mean, there's kind of a lot of layers to it. Um, sorry for this jank Pedialyte with gum on top. Oh, dude, your sorry. hydration is important to this <laughs> session. It's fine. I didn't even think about that. Um, uh, yeah, it was like, there's lots of layers to it. Like, it's, the first layer was just thinking about this idea of a sitcom and, like, how they're always in living rooms. They're, like, supposed to be, like, normal people's lives, and everybody, like, sits and watches them. Kind of feels like Truman Show-esque, you know? And then, for me, all this, like, growth and, you know, attention happened to me at once, and it kind of felt like that, that I was, like, on stage and being watched just live my normal life, especially during, like, you know, the pandemic where everything was just digital and, like, everybody's watching you. It wasn't like a... I had written most of the album already, but then it just made even more sense when, you know, the lockdown happened and everything. Um, but... Yeah, that was like one layer to it. And then also, I just think people are like really reaching back in time right now, uh, especially my generation. Like I'm 21 and um, everyone's watching shows that used to exist, you know, and now we can rewatch it and the Internet allows old things to be new. Like I just discovered the Doobie Brothers, you know, like I just Grove it, was so. playing over breakfast for us all day. We were trying oh, to grow nice. back to back, actually. Cool. Yeah. And it's like crazy how the internet allows that to happen and like new things can be old and so i don't know that's just what i've been influenced by and like what i've been listening to and so it's just this whole like influential whirlwind of things that made harmony house yeah i've had a similar thought i've wondered if there was a word in the english language for a feeling of nostalgia for a thing that you have never experienced or a thing that might not have even been real but you still feel nostalgic for it yeah and for me it's like seeing pictures of like dickie betts and Dwayne allman hold up at a cabin in the woods just drinking beers and writing songs i'm like yeah dude i want that and somehow yeah. i feel like i have had that although i certainly wasn't around in the 70s sure but. yeah it's it's like uh I, I call that like false nostalgia where it's like the internet allows you to feel nostalgic about things like the eighties is like a revival for like, like kids, you know, our age. And so that's just weird. Cause we didn't experience it, but like it's nostalgic. So the internet's done some stuff to us. So yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah. yeah. And your false nostalgia of the eighties is an improvement upon the real eighties. I was there for like a lot of the eighties and it was fine. Okay. It seemed <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I'm sure there were some crazy parts about it, but yeah. 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 Well, man, thank you guys again for uh, for coming and doing this. And there's still one more song to share with everybody. What's coming up last today? Yes, uh, this is close to you. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's freaking jam. Stuck in the 
fun sloan thank you everybody thank you for coming and doing this after your uh your Lollapalooza set yesterday and yeah. best of continued luck on harmony house it's out in the world and um uh, i think those are all of the words i meant to say oh tour uh touring is happening i think i'll see you guys in new york uh, at webster hall cool yeah it should be a good show it starts uh september six weeks of tour uh starting in dallas um september wraps at the end of uh, end of October in Kansas City, so have a wonderful time doing all of those things and yeah. travel safely, please, and enjoy the whole thing, man. Thank you. Yeah, we're stoked. Thanks for having us. All right. See you next time. <laughs>